So Elon Musk released Grok 4.0 and it's trained on memes, chaos and real-time Twitter posts. Basically the only AI that Doom scrolls harder than you. But unlike previous Grok versions, this one topped the AGI charts beating ChatGPT in coding benchmarks. So let's put all that hype to the test. I gave Grok 4.0 and ChatGPT 4.0 the exact same prompt. Here is ChatGPT 4.0 with the prompt make a to-do list with HTML, CSS, JavaScript and with functions like edit, delete, keeping it simple. And here is Grok 4.0 with the exact same prompt. Okay, so now let's hit the generate button and both ChatGPT and Grok will generate the code. And just like that we have all the code in one giant HTML file. So now let's move to Visual Studio Code. We have two files here on different window. We are running both of them on Firefox locally. So this one is the to-do list made by Grok and this one is the one made by ChatGPT. So let's test out the Grok one first and we will just press enter to save our first task and let's uh, select the button and it also has a little hover animation over here. So we will just create a new task and we can also select them uh, to mark them as complete here and we can also edit them in this pop-up so let's make it read a novel and okay and i think we can also delete this and if we mark it as complete and yet we can uh, edit or delete this task so this is well done from uh, grok now let's see what has chat gpt done for us so the first thing we can notice is that the add button doesn't have the hover a little animation and let's see if we can press enter no we can't uh, we can't just press enter we have to click the add button every time we uh, create a new task and if we take a look at this edit and delete buttons they have this underline on hover unlike the colorful uh, boxes that we have here in the grok version and also they don't have this a uh, check box which helps in marking the tasks the only thing they have slightly better is the gray tint behind these tasks okay so that's a wrap grok gave us something usable with buttons that actually respond whereas chat gave us a form and said good enough okay so that's it from this video if you enjoyed this video then do hit the like button and we will see you in the next video